bitch, I'm annual flossing. VDS, yeah, I play Animal Crossing. GameCube 3DS, I ain't never been poor. Used to play Sims 4. Put a little wall around, niggas take the door off, trapping in a swimming pool. Hey, what's up, everybody, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, my name is Sierra, or also known as Sierra the Simmer. And today I'm going to be showing you how I make my toddler sims from start to finish. So we're going to get straight into it. I have a randomized toddler. It's a female toddler. I may also do a male toddler, but to get us started, we're just going to take everything off of her. So as you can see, she has randomized clothes on, a random shirt, skirt, and some boots. Um, so we're just going to take everything off of her. I sort of do the same process with my male sims and my female sims, young adult, adult, teens. So we're just going to start off with a fresh, you know, slate, a fresh sim, nothing. So we're going to, I'm going to keep her here for now. She's already looking cute in the face. I already like what she looks like randomized, but... Um, my favorite go-to skins for my toddler sims are definitely This Is Them or J Sims. Sometimes I use skin presets or overlays by various different creators, but my go-to is definitely This Is Them. Um, if you haven't watched my How To Create Female Sims tutorial or my How To Create Male Sims tutorial, I use overlays on my male sims a lot more than I do with my female adult and young adult sims but these will be considered overlays they go underneath the skin tone these down here will be considered skins so they already come with skin tones as you can see and the overlays also comes come with different tones but you can use a skin tone on top for instance on top let's put an overlay you got to delete everything so that you can see the overlay so for instance this is an overlay you can go to your face and change her skin tone, which this gives you um, more variety with the different skin tones that I have. I have some custom ones, which would be these, and then the ones that come with the game. Um, so usually my next step would be just to find a skin. Um, I also have some skins that I created and converted and uh, also my favorite skins to use, or this is them, for example. So that would be my next step is just to look for some skins. Um, but yeah, so we're just going to pick a random skin. Some skins you have to close out the entire thing to get the skin. For instance, if you have a skin all the way at the top, you can't click the one at the bottom unless you close it out or just delete it. All right. So these are a few skins by J Sims, which are absolutely adorable. Some of them seem like they come with eyebrows. So if you were to use these, you would go to eyebrows and use a eyebrow that is bald like so so that the eyebrows won't like either look really thick or look really weird sometimes you can play it off and use eyebrows or eyebrow preset that works with this eyebrow shape that comes with the skin so this would be my step just finding a skin um normally with my young adult or adult sims i start off with makeup but obviously this is a toddler so we don't even have to worry about makeup but one thing that I do on all my sims is I sometimes add freckles, sometimes I don't. But freckles, sometimes they don't show on certain skin. And I love this bottom lip color by April Baby 321. Is it 321? Yep. April Baby 321. It's like a bottom lip shade. It literally gives this, the lips like just more real, a realistic look. Like as you can see, lips basically have different colors. Y'all know what I mean. Goodness. Um... <laughs> The lips are, aren't all one color. Sometimes, you know, the bottom lip is a little pinker. Um, but, yeah. So, I'll use Freckles by Indie Sim. And then I'll use this bottom lip shade by April Baby 321. And my favorite skin tones to use are This Is Them or J Sims. So, we're just going to look through. Um, we're going to close out of this skin because I can't see the other skins without taking that off. I have this skin that I converted. Um, it's really cute. Then we have this skin by... This is them. We have this skin. Um, let's see. Um, we can go through these skins and make some toddlers, but we got to throw some eyebrows back on her. So, for instance, if we were to go with one of these skins, we would need to go back and put some eyebrows. My favorite eyebrows to use are Redhead Sims eyebrows. These, uh, This set are really nice. You can go really thin like that or really thick like this. My favorite ones to use at the moment are by... Latessa Sims. 
I literally got this maybe from some other sim download. I don't know how I got this, but I really like these eyebrows. They're like, you know, not too, too thick, not thin. They're like, you know, a little rough on the, around the edges and they're not perfect, like perfectly arched eyebrows. Um, not all toddlers have perf perfectly arched eyebrows. So I usually go with these. She's so adorable. Okay, so my next step, once I sort of find a skin, usually, like, if I'm not, um, keep, you know, if I'm not sure if I want to keep the skin, I'll play around with it later. But we're going to go to my favorite eyes. As you can see, I have so many different eyes, but my go-to for all of my sims are Praline Sims N100 Water Eyes. They're just the most realistic eyes to me, in my opinion. And this is just my style of how I make my Sims. So I usually go for the middle shape, brown. And she's so cute. Now, I use Teen Moon's Lip Slider. I never use lip presets. As you can see, these are randomized lips that, you know, were on her. I just usually just play around with the sliders, make her lips bigger, put them in. You know, I, already, I like her nose already. So I think I'm going to go with the nose. Um... Probably make her chin just a little bit more. And usually with my the toddlers or the little kids, to make them look younger, you can squinch their faces up to make them, you know, look babyish in the face. Now her hair, we're going to pick a different hair. I really like these new hairs by J. Sims. Little pigtails, super cute. This little curly little um, sh ponytail in it. I believe it comes with a barrette of some sort. Because this hair comes with bows or like some scrunchies. Yep, and this one comes with like a little bow. So adorable. And it comes with different swatches. Green, purple, dark blue, turk, you know, a little turk teal action. I was trying to say turquoise. But that never comes out right. Um, and then like a mustard yellow and white. You know, white pretty much goes with everything. So I think I'm going to go with those pigtails because they're super adorable. Um... Those also come with different swatches, red, you know, a pinkish purple, dark purple, lilac, pink, baby pink, baby blue, orange, green, yellow, or this is like a lime green, yellow, then a black scrunchie and white scrunchie. So I don't know what I'm going to have her wear, but she is so adorable. Now, to make my toddler sims look even more realistic with their skin, so since I'm using actual skin and not an overlay over a skin... Um, I'm going to actually use a blush. I'm going to play around with some blushes that don't look like she has like some makeup on. But it just gives her skin like that much more depth to it. So I'm going to close out a feminine just to get some more options. My favorite go-to blush to use on most of my sims that doesn't really look makeup-y but looks realistic is usually this one. I'm not sure who the creator is at all. The name is not on the thumbnail and I have not looked it up. But I usually go for like this, which doesn't look super makeup-y, but on certain skin tones, it does look a little blushy and makeup-y, which I tend not to use if it does look makeup-y. But on certain skin tones, it just adds more like depth to their skin. Um, sometimes I use like this, you know, highlighter sort of situation like this. For example, it doesn't look like she has makeup on. It just looks like her skin is glowy. Now, certain blushes I'll use, for instance, that it doesn't look like she has makeup on. It just looks like her skin is glowing. Um, other ones that literally look like she has highlighter on. It's like, it's a toddler. Why would she have highlighter on? You feel me? But this will definitely bring like your toddlers to life. Now, what we forgot was edges. I usually use the same baby edges or hair, but since this hair came with some really nice laid down baby hairs... Um, I probably wouldn't use edges. Um, certain edges don't even work with certain skins. Like since I'm using this skin, I can't use these edges cause that skin would disappear. So, um, but my go-to edges for my little toddlers, let me find it. Um, I think it's Darilia. Um, these edges, which since this hair already has edges, it doesn't really look right how this is like swooped this way and the rest are like, you know, loose swoops. So I won't use edges if I'm using this hair you know, for this case, but, um, the eyebrows are already, like, sort of like a black, dark sort of situation, but I'm just gonna play around with different shades. I do like the darker brown more than the black, because the black sort of looks grayish to me, but, um, yeah, I kind of like this, because it's given, it's given not black, it's given a natural black shade, since her hair is black. Um, I like her face, I like her little lips, usually, usually with the Teen Moon Lip Slider, I'll go in the corner and just make them more plump. Now you'll just pull the corner of their mouth on the left side on this side and just go in, pull in. You'll just do this to make them bigger. To make them wider, you'll go to the bottom lip or any part of the bottom lip and just move it like that. So yeah, I like to make it all proportionate. So her eyes, I already like her eyes. I don't have any toddler preset eyes, which I probably should look some up to see 
if there's some more out there but I typically just use the base game eyes and just play around with them but I'm gonna add some eyelashes to this female toddler sims my favorite ones well the only ones I have are by Kajiko and they're just really a uh, really nice touch it already makes her look that more adorable you know so we added some eyelashes this is version 2 Kajiko's toddler eyelashes these are also really nice they're just a little shorter so I tend to like longer lashes on my little toddler sims both boy and girl so uh, next I'm gonna just add some earrings to her I mean I have these little um heart earrings with a crown on top by Feyana. Uh these are really cute these are Vittler uh earrings really cute um yeah so her look is really coming together i mean my toddlers aren't as much um detail as i would with my female sims since they're you know little babies so we just want to make them look cute and if i'm trying to make them look like the parent and then that's the only time i go super in depth when it comes to my toddlers so we need to pick her outfit i already did lashes don't really need to do edges i did her some you know little highlight the highlighter skin i picked the skin i think i love this skin so i think i'm gonna go with it um you can do necklaces i mean i don't have that many so i don't really go into it go in much into the necklaces until i find the outfit so i think i'm going to do um either a t-shirt or like um full body shirt so um i have a lot of like cute little outfits like this is a recolor and then the this little jumpsuit is super adorable like you see how this is like a lilac color it's super adorable and you can do the little heart earrings to match her little hearts on her little outfit just like cute little outfits like this oh i love it but we're gonna keep looking i might just stick with that but this is an outfit by complex sims it's a fendi tutu sort of situation super super adorable some of them i don't have meshes for so i'm skipping over them this is a cute little play dress um they also have a lilac and different plaid shades hearts well this is super cute this little heart dress oh i just love toddler cc um and yeah the one with the bunnies is super cute and then the rest are like just regular shades i love this yellow on her oh super cute okay i also have this um cute little like tennis dress just super cute um i also have a version of it that was recolored with the polo little polo tennis dress with the pink and the yellow oh i love the yellow that matches the white in the polo on oh, that's so cute look this is only this is the only way i spend a lot of time with toddlers i never know what outfit i'm gonna use so i'm gonna just pick five outfits usually but for this video i'm just gonna do one um i really like this i'm just going through my outfits to show you a few things few of the things that i do have um i have this little chanel dress by vittler this is a coat uh, don't remember the name it's super cute this outfit is by complex it's a little fendi jumpsuit um, a lot of these are like Halloween costumes like this. It's like a little witch costume. This dress is actually a dress that Stormy wore. Um, it's like a Stormy inspired dress that she wore with Kylie for some event. I don't even remember what it is. This little jumpsuit is by Kiko Vanity. Super cute. Like a little sleepwear outfit. You know. If yo, you know, Sims want to be bougie with their kids, you know, this is what i would think they'd wear or something like that um this is a cute birthday girl dress so you know if your sims is having a birthday for their daughter she's turning two or something i have no idea who this is by but if you seriously want the link i'll find it for you sis but i have no idea who this is by it probably came with a birthday set i have some like mickey mouse cc to decorate like a little birthday party this is what she would wear as a little birthday girl super cute right so we're gonna just keep looking i have this little dress i think it only comes with one swatch don't know who the creator is um this little um outfit is by sims 4 nexus if i can name one person that is the goat for toddler and child cc it's sim 4 nexus and simtographies if you search them up i'll even link their like pages or maybe some things that i mentioned in the description they are like the go-to for any toddler or a child cc I'm not sure if it's a him or her, but that creator makes super nice, cute little stuff for toddlers, both male and female in child sims. So that that's something you can jot down, sis. Um, this is a really cute dress that I use on some of my sims. You know, I try to keep it real cute and simple for my toddler, specifically my, you know, female toddler sims. I'm better at dressing them. The males I typically do like cute little nice 
jeans and a hoodie or a shirt or like a jump Jordan jumpsuit or so, Nike jumpsuit, something like that, sporty. The girls, I uh, typically do something really cute and colorful and matchy. Um, so soon for Nexus, this is a long little dress sort of situation. Another one with swat different swatches. Um, um, then we have this, uh, full body little onesie sort of situation about sims 4 nexus different swatches as you can see um and yeah i mean that doesn't really sum up all my outfits but um here's like a little cute oversized crew neck oh i'm in love with this. this is so adorable she is such a cutie all these outfits are so popping on sis you know you popping when every outfit you put on is just everything um this is a cute little ballerina sort of situation you know if your little toddler sims are doing a little ballet you know that's what you'll put on them this is a cute little outfit i'm not sure who the creator is for this but this is super cute um i would do like some little tims or something with this um yeah i'm just clicking through other outfits i have i have no idea who made this i don't remember this is by kiko vanity it's a louis vuitton quarter zip outfit this is definitely for your bougie sims okay and sis looks super cute with this i would do like some really cute like balenciaga shoes or something like that with this um this is a little bit more bougie i'm i'm not saying it's inappropriate i'm not saying it's appropriate it is cute whatever floats your boat i like this outfit i thought it was cute eh, it's a little bit on the you know side but it's cute. It comes with different swatches. Um, it's Chanel. It comes with um, a Gucci swatch. And then, you know, like leopard print, cow print, different shades. It comes with solid colors. Um, Chanel. Uh, it comes with like some, you know, little tribal little abstract colors, which are super cute. And yeah, I really like the outfit. Um, this is a Gucci swimsuit, a little cute little plaid dress, a little um, jumpsuit with a bunch of swatches like a little animal sort of situation chanel swimsuit um but yeah um this little outfit is cute this is like my go-to outfit for this summer for my sims with some little bows and some sandals but yeah so most of my time is spent on outfits for the toddlers once i get their cute little face their lashes their little lip color oh i forgot to mention um i've been starting to use this lip like gloss now i wouldn't really consider it lip gloss on the toddlers more of a like you know little chapstick little vaseline or <laughs> if you understand what i mean it just gives them a little glow you know to their lips or a little like death you know it's not like she's wearing like lipstick it's more of like a gloss and it just brings more color to her lips so i've been using this lip shade i'm gonna butcher the name i'll link it because i recently reblogged in maybe a week or so ago um it comes with different um colors uh it's called dewy glow delight and it just comes with different ones my favorite one is this one the very last one and i usually use the first one on different skin tones i might change it up to more brown shade but it's super cute um but the outfits that i think i'm gonna go with uh, i have shirts as well i really am liking this shirt by kiko vanity it's a space jam shirt and she also has, like, I think some bikers that pair with them. I have to find them. Oh, I think they're sweatpants. Well, it couldn't be the sweatpants. This sort of doesn't look right. Um, I think they're bikers that go with these. Let me find them. She also has, like, some um, chrome hearts jeans. Super cute. Some flared jeans. Some little uh, cropped capri jeans. It's like a little skirt situation. Um, yeah, these are, like, you know, little play pants. Um, she did, I do have some bikers, so we're gonna close out as feminine so I can find the bikers. Now, these are usually the bikers that I'll use for an outfit like this. Like, this is an oversized shirt, so I typically would do bikers or maybe some jeans, depending on, you know, how it all looks. I also have some leggings. It's just a little longer than the bikers. Um, but that shirt only comes with one swatch, so if I were to do this outfit, I would do bikers, and then I would do, I think I would keep the white scrunchies. Because um, I think any other color may throw off the whole outfit. Now, I might do, like, some little Balenciaga shoes. I have quite a bit of shoes. Not a whole lot. But I would probably do these shoes with this. This is super cute. Very sporty. Not really, really girly. Just really relaxed and a chill outfit. I'll throw on some socks. They're a little short. A little short and no so socks. So, this will be what I would do for this outfit. I might just do two or three outfits just to show y'all, like, my process of how I dress my sims, how I make them. So, she is super cute, adorable. 
Now, you know, they're toddlers, so you don't have to do a whole lot with their actual skin details and lipstick and lashes. You just throw on some lashes, some gloss, some little chapstick, and pick their outfit. So the next outfit I'm going to do, I think I'm going to do a jumpsuit uh, situation. Let's see. Um, I really like this oversized hoodie. I'm giving her not a tomboy look, but more of a less girly look. I might do the last look as a girly look, but I'm going to do this little oversized um, sweatshirt situation. Um, okay, I really like this off-white sort of thing. This is super cute. This is by... Um, I believe this is by Nitro Panic. That creator makes really nice t stuff for toddlers, children, young adults, adults. Just a go-to place to get if you're starting to download CC. They also have a Gucci swatch. Oh, I like this champion swatch. Um, Machino, Supreme, another Machino. This is super cute. I like the camel Supreme. I like the solid color. Super cute. And just, you know, you know, if she's like... I don't know. This is like a store run. I wouldn't say park. I don't know. I really like this orange and yellow camo champion situation. This is really cute. Um, if I were to do this, I might find it might be difficult to find shoes to match with that. But um, I would do the dark blue swatch maybe to match the blue and the champion. Maybe white would. I feel like the blue or maybe the red. The red it might be too much or the orange. Uh, the orange looks way better. I feel like the orange in the scrunchie really brings out the orange in the shirt. I think the blue just kind of threw it off a little bit since it's not as much blue. But I would definitely just do the orange. Or you'll just play around with it. Whatever floats your boat. Like, whatever you thought looked right. Um, then we're going to change our shoes up. I would go with these Balenciagas. And I would just do maybe... I would pr either do these Balenciagas, which I'll probably just do white. Or I can do these... Um. Yeezys by Mink Sims, which are gray and orange, but there's other swatches that I, you could possibly use. I'm not too, I'm not too much liking them because they don't really match in my opinion. So I will move on to something else. Um, some other shoes like these slides. I'm not sure what the creator's name is, but with this type of look, you could do slides with some long socks. Um, you can. I really like these shoes by Lazy Eye. Um, we pro since it's like orange, yellow, and dark blue. Um. You just have to play around with different shades. Uh, there's a dark blue with red, which would match the champion. These shoes are navy blue and red. So, yeah, these would probably match the best. You can even just do some regular white forces, which make her feet look super, super little, super cute. Or you can even do these orange Nikes, which uh, I like them. Or you can do the, those are purple. Um, you can do like the dark blue to bring out the blue in the shirt. It just depends. I would do either one, like the orange, dark blue, or the all white. I also like these shoes and the socks. Um, you can do some longer socks, which I don't have a whole lot of long socks. I mean, I have this one. I would do the white just to make her, you know, socks a little longer. Um, then I have just house shoes and little tennis shoes sort of situations. These shoes are really cute. Um, these are like dark blue. I want to say like red and yellow, which these sort of match. The blue sort of throws it off. Uh, you just look at the other swatches. This one is looks like it's like an orangish red, which I don't think really matches. These also would sort of match. I mean, you know, but um, yeah, so I'll just find shoes. I have way more than this. So you just close out a feminine to get more options. Um, I have some uh, Vans, which are super cute with this outfit. I think this goes with it. Um, I'm not sure about the cheetah print. Um, and then they have, they have like a burgundy a cheetah print sort of situation than black. I like the black the most. Then I just have slides, more tennis shoes and sandals. And yeah, I also have these Nike ones, which come in black and orange and different colors. Um, and yeah, so I think I like the Vans the most. So we have this outfit, which is super, you know, laid back. Not too girly. This one's also laid back. Not too girly. Play outfit. The next one, I'm going to do a really girly outfit. Um, let's see if I can do a shirt. Because I might do like a little dress or something. I have a lot of shirts. I have this little frilly dress. Which actually goes with these flared out pants. And they're by the same creator, Sims 4 Nexus. You will just change the shade to whatever you want the color to be. But this is literally what I'll do. Like I'll be all day just picking out outfits for the toddlers 
So um, we have this outfit, which is super girly. This is a Gucci shirt, which comes in several different swatches. I believe it comes with a skirt. Let's check. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah, it does. Um, this skirt, I believe. Wait, I might be tripping. Turk Simmer. Okay, so this outfit is by Turk Simmer. And it does come with a little, like, plaid skirt situation with the different swatches. You can do black. I like the brown. It seems like it matches more. Uh, scrunchies. Um, not too sure since this outfit is brown i like the outfit let's just switch it up maybe just do something different um i want to do something cute and girly and frilly i might just do a dress let's see what we have um this is a really cute little outfit maybe we could do the play dress with the pink and we could do the white scrunchies. Did we do white scrunchies in the first one? Okay, we did white scrunchies in the first one. We could do white again. And then we're going to do sandals. We're, we're going to take the socks off of her. So we're going to take socks off. Shoes, we're going to do some sandals. I have a lot of sandals, so it really doesn't matter to me. But my favorite sandals are by, um, I'm not sure how to pronounce that name or if that is even the name. Uh, but i'll link it if i find it um these are some really cute sandals that i just found you know cc shopping they come in black which i wish they came in white because that would match perfectly but this is like an orange see this is always my problem like i'll find a really cute outfit and then i don't find any shoes that match sometimes i use these shoes by sims for nexus which these little white gladiator sandals are cute but it's just like too much in my opinion too much is going on with the outfit um Let's see. I love these little slippers by Indie Sim, even though they're not really showing that well. Um, I would really would do these little white sandals right here. And that would be my girly outfit for this Sim. And the next thing is you'll just name the Sim. So I'm going to name her, um, let's see. Um, I like Mariah Giovanna. I like Giovanni for a girl. I think I'm gonna just do Giovanni, and the last name doesn't matter to me. Giovanni. Um, I say it doesn't matter to me, and I'm like, talk. I want something that sounds right. Um, Giovanni Ballard. Something better than that. Um. Giovanni Boyer. I like that. Giovanni Boyer. I have a lot of toddler or added toddler traits that didn't come with the game like imagination developmental delay these toddlers build imagination skills slowly so it gives it more realism not all, to all toddlers can instantly just be you know get the imagination trade they're just slower at it difficult temperum oh goodness uh, it's difficult to take care of these toddlers because they have faster attention, need decay, negative moods, and build relationships slower. Another one that didn't come with the game is always hungry. These toddlers need to eat more. Always sleepy. These toddlers need to sleep more. Angelic came with the game. Charmer came with the game. Clingy came with the game. Communication developmental delay did not come with the game. These toddlers built communication skills slowly. Um, Fussy came with the game. Independent came with the game. Inquisitive came with the game. Movement development. Basically, these toddlers built movement skill slowly um petty i did not know this came with a toddler tray there i guess these are just petty toddlers you know quick learners these toddlers learn all skills quickly silly slow to warm up it's challenging to take care of these toddlers because they have slow attention need decay slightly negative moves and build relationships slowly thinking developmental delay these toddlers build thinking skills slowly and then wow came with the game so i have an extra traits mod so instead of just one trait we have two so i think i'm gonna make her independent and you know maybe she can be a quick learner so she's independent a quick learner so we got a little smarty arty right here giovanni boyer and i did three outfits for y'all i might do a male version just because i don't want this video to be too too long so it might just be a separate video for how i make my little male toddlers but i hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how i make my little baby toddler sims and i hope to see you in my next video don't forget to like comment and subscribe sis and i'll see y'all in the next video
Been poor. Used to play Sims 4.